Hello students, welcome to Sort of Search classes. The question is, there are 8 coins, 7 of which have the same weight and the other one weighs more. In order to find the coin having more weight, a person randomly chooses 2 coins and puts 1 coin on each side of a common balance. If these two coins are found to have the same weight, the person then randomly chooses two more coins from the rest and follows the same method as before. The probability that the coin will be identified at the second draw is so the prob the required probability is equal to probability coin not identified in first draw into probability coin identified in second draw so the probability that the coin is not identified in the first draw is that 7c2 by 8c2 so we got this probability as because 8c2 is the number of ways in which you can pick two coins from the above eight coins and 7c2 is a probability that you don't pick the heavier coin but you pick any two from the other seven coin from the other seven coins so these are the number of ways in which you can pick any two coins from the other seven coins so 7c2 by 8c2 into probability that the coin is identified in second draw so after the first draw we have been left with six coins so the number of ways in which we can draw two coins is 6c2 and the number of ways in which we can draw the other coin the other lighter coin and one and the heavier coin is 5c1 into 1. From the 5 lighter coins, you'll choose any one and you'll choose one heavier coin. Now, solving this, you'll get 7c2 by 8c2 to be 3 by 4 and 5c1 by 6c2 to be 1 by 3. So, 3 by 4 into 1 by 3 gives us 1 by 4. That is option C. So option C is the correct answer. The next question is, consider the set of all functions from 1 to m to 1 to n, where n greater than m. If a function is chosen from this set at random, the probability that it will be strictly increasing is. So now, let the number of functions is equal to n to the power m. Then, number of strictly increasing functions would be number of m distinct elements chosen in one to up to n which is equal to ncm therefore required probability is a number of ways in which you can select m distinct elements that is ncm by the total number of functions that are possible by n to the power m so option a is the correct answer